Hi, I'm Marita MacDonald from Dentist TV and I'm at the British Dental Association's annual conference and exhibition 2011 in Manchester and I look forward to interviewing some of the speakers, exhibitors and key opinion leaders at the show. I'm here with Janet Clark, who is the incoming president of the British Dental Association. Janet, I wanted to ask you, um, this year's theme of the conference is essential innovations. What do you think, in terms of what innovations do you think delegates here must be particularly focused on for next year? Okay, thank you. Um, well, I've been very interested to see that even though we're in a time of, you know, a time of potentially a recession, um, that the, the companies who've been exhibiting here have been demonstrating particularly new sorts of toothpaste. Um, and I think those are going to be launched commercially, you know, in the next few months. And it strikes me as though dentists are going to need to know about those um, so that they will be able to answer questions from their patients um, about the new products. So I'm hoping that people who've been here will have, you know, will have found out about those and be able to pass on the information to their patients when those products are in the shops. Um, so I think that's been very interesting indeed to see that all the companies seem to have, the major companies seem to be, be bringing out new toothpaste products. Mm, okay. Um, and another theme or something that's really pertinent is clinical leadership and the new reforms within dentistry. Mm. Um, what lessons do you sense the delegates of this conference will be taking back with them to their practices? Okay. I mean, yesterday we had a really, really uh, motivating um, talk from Dame Tani Gray Thompson, um, which was based really on her experiences as a, a Paralympian um, and how she, you know, how she'd overcome various challenges. And I think the the idea of of working with a team and um, depending on yourself, being focused. Um, to achieve things in a time of change and also not letting setbacks, you know, get in your way is something which I've certainly heard people talking about after the presentation. Um, so I think they've, you know, they've taken a lot of that on board. Um, I think she was very inspiring because you could see that she'd had so many challenges um, and that, you know, that's relevant, I think, in dentistry where dentists are also having a lot of challenges and the idea that she's overcome them and done so well, um, well people will find very inspiring. Yeah. Okay, and then lastly, just to wrap up, is there anything that you've particularly enjoyed about the conference thus far that sort of stuck out to you? Yeah, always with the BDA conference, it's great to meet people. And I think what I've noticed is, is how many people there are here who seem to be having a great time. Um, and I've particularly enjoyed meeting old friends, old colleagues, having a catch up. Um, it's been absolutely fantastic. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm here with Peter Ward, BDA Chief Executive Officer. Peter, um, there's been a real buzz at conference about the various legislation and things that are facing the profession at the moment, the challenges. What is the overall message that the BDA is hearing from, from engaging with the members here? I think it's that, that actually they want to get on with what they're really trained for, what they're mm. good at. What, what dentists and dental teams want is to treat patients and to give them really good quality care. I, I think their concern is around the fact that because of the, the, the growing layers of regulation and red tape, it just gives them difficulty in actually concentrating on the day job. So I think what they're telling us is, of course, as caring professionals, we realise that we've got to be subject to, to rules and controls, but please make them proportionate to the job that we're doing. 
And with regard, you mentioned the uh, red tape that's also surrounding and all, everything that's coming up. Um, do you sense um, that there is anxiety amongst the profession about what, how this is all panning out and, and sort of taking shape? Yeah, very much so. I mean, I think the concern there is there seem to be layers and layers coming from many different directions. And, and the pace with which those layers are being introduced, it just makes people, I think it causes a sense of, uh, you know, demoralises them and it makes them feel as if um, there's an issue about whether they're trusted to get on with the job. Their relationships with patients, interestingly, repeatedly show themselves to be really good. Patients have great respect for their dental teams. They've often had relationships that have built up over years, and they find that the, 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 the teams that they want to serve them, uh, they're very happy with in the main. Now, occasionally, as in any system, there are some people who don't follow the rules and things, and everybody says that they recognise that that's got to be dealt with. I think the worry is that the intensity of the regulation the layers and controls that are being put upon dentists and dental teams just make it really difficult to do the job and certainly had huge cost to the, to the delivery of care. And that's what's really causing people concern is they just want to get on and do a decent job, look after their patients and offer those health improvements that we all know that they can and they're good at. Yes. So we're on day two of the conference. Have there been any highlights in the programme or at the exhibition floor that have stuck out? They, they certainly have. I mean, I think this year of all, we, we're seeing a huge buzz in the halls. The people are wandering around. As ever, it gives people a chance to meet up with friends and colleagues to get really good quality CPD. But what I'm finding is, notwithstanding the difficulties that are out there in practice life, people are here. They're here to learn, they're here to engage and find out about new products and new technologies. That's what really gives me a buzz. It's the re recognition that notwithstanding all the things that are out there, dental teams are really committed to improving patient care. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Peter. That's it for this show here at the BDA Conference and Exhibition in Manchester. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Dentist TV.